Hello and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Monday, uh, April the 13th. This is going to cover lesson 10.1. So uh, first I'd like to again wish you a happy Easter. Hope everyone uh, had a wonderful time celebrating Easter even though it was a uh, slightly different way probably for some of us than we're used to. Um, I do have an announcement. So this is in relation to the um, optional Zoom meetings. It is, an, it is an optional activity in that you do not have to show up on the call. If you do show up on the call, I will ask you what you are working on for math as part of your time uh, hanging out and whatever games or whatever uh, that we're working on that particular day. Um, and you can ask questions. What is not optional is the part, if you don't come to the call, you still need to tell me what you're working on. So that could be working on review of different math facts. That could be doing Prodigy Math for a half hour, doing an online lesson on Go Math, or even like trying to get caught up on the math stuff because there are so many other things going on. So like, any of those things are perfectly fine, but you do need to message in the comments what you have been working on uh, to receive credit for that particular day. That's the trade-off for not having a new lesson that day that is graded. So um, just so everyone's aware of that, um, because we've had a little bit of confusion about that part. So again, don't have to be on the call, but you do have to check in with me on the, the day that we don't have a new lesson. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have for today. We are going to be spending the first couple moments just talking about terminology. Um, so we haven't really spent a lot of time. Um, I know when I had you guys for third grade, we didn't really get to do a whole lot um, with this type of thing. So some of this may be things that you have remembered from other uh, points in time, but uh, we didn't do these uh, specific things last year. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So the first part would be a point. So if I were to have a point, it's an exact location. Um, and so they give the example of the tip of a pencil being a point. Um, there is a starting and ending uh, to the point of that pencil. Um, a line is going to be a straight path. So they give you an example of a road. It can keep going in both directions, essentially without end. Um, now, obviously we know that the roads around here uh, do that, but we're talking about uh, in, a, in a world where uh, a, line, a road might continue straight for a very long period of time past what we could see. Um, so to write that, um, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit here. Um, we would have arrows going off each side, just like that we would have here when we would write that. That means that we have these two points, but we're going to keep going in each direction past those two points. Um, a line segment is going to be part of a line between two endpoints. So there is no continuation in this direction or in this direction. And that's just represented by a straight line written over top of the two points. And a ray is part of a line that has an endpoint. So in this case, F is our endpoint. And once we get to G, we are going to keep going straight in that direction. And so that would be represented um, by something that looks like an arrow. Um, it's hard to see the tip on that, but if you're looking in your book or you look along here, uh, that should make a little bit of sense. So um, really quick, they wanted us to draw this point as part of that. So I'm going to draw a dot here, a dot here, and I'm going to draw a straight-ish line. Um, I'm going to make my points a different color. And then I would label them. So here is J, here is K. And that's it. And then down at the bottom, it asks, is there another way to name this? Well, at the moment, no, because what we are saying we have is a road that starts at one point here and ends at this point here and does not continue going. Um, so if we were to draw that as a street, some of you have seen side streets. So the side street might go here. And then here you have a main road that it intersects into on this side, and then there's a main road on this side that it intersects into. And so if I were to take my eraser and make this part and this part go away, 
there is a definite end where this road is going to, to stop because there's another road there that travels a different direction. So just kind of uh, one way that you might be able to think about that. So, oh, shucks. There we go. Sorry about that. That button did not do what I thought it did. <laughs> Hope you all enjoy that. All right, so uh, we are going to be working with angles. So angles are going to be um, rays or line segments that have the same endpoint. So Q is going to be the endpoint where both of these originate from. So one's going to go kind of up and to the right, and the other one's going to go straight and to the right. They're both straight lines. Um, and they would be considered rays because we would keep going. They could also be line segments. And then we will be working eventually with finding measurements for that, but we are not doing that in this lesson. So a right angle forms with a square corner. A straight angle is a straight line. An acute angle, which is something we talked about a long time ago, um, and this would have been like probably second grade for you guys um, because we didn't do as much with this last year. Um, acute angle is smaller than a right angle, and obtuse angle is larger than a right angle. So if I were to look at my options down here at the bottom, this one is going to be larger than a right angle. This one's going to be smaller, so obtuse, acute. This one probably could be um, an acute angle because it looks like it's slightly smaller. This one looks like it could be a right angle as well. Now, normally, if you don't see this extra little part in here, that, that extra thing, it means that it's usually not a right angle. But this one looks like it could be, C also looks like it could possibly be a right angle. But uh, normally they're going to take away any confusion and put that extra marking in there. So let's take a look at our share and show questions and uh, as well as the on your own. So, a and B, they want us to draw it. If I were to draw it, I would have a starting point here, an ending point here, and I think I'm going to try to grab one of my larger... That ah, still didn't work. I'm going to change the size of the tip on this. That way we can get a better point. There we go. So I'm exaggerating, but... Um, here are going to be our points. We're not going to extend past in this direction or this one. Uh, so that means it would be a line segment. All right, number three, they want an angle K. So obtuse is going to be larger than 90 degrees. So it could be anything that you want as long as it is more open. So normally what I do, and this is up to you because you can do it in either direction. I would say I would start here and open up toward your left. Um, so if we get past 90 degrees, um, then that would be obtuse. If we're shorter, then it would be acute. And I usually try to draw all of them the same way. Um, but do understand that I could flip this around and have it open from left to right instead um, if these two points had met. And then we would just label K for the angle. Um, name a line segment. So a line segment, all four of these are line segments. So you just have to put one of those. And so I'm going to choose to go from V to T. And then I draw my straight line over it. Um, if I were doing the right angle for number six, there is only one option there, and that would be the angle for you. Uh, number seven. So if we have PQ, we are going to start with P. You're going to have Q here. You're going to have a straight line, and it will keep going because we have a ray. So this would be P, this would be Q. And if I have a straight angle, oh crud. All right, so actually I'm gonna take that back. 
I do have a roller, um, so I'm going to use it for this, hopefully. It's a little bit picky to use, but that will make it easier for us. So I'm going to make a longer line here and then make that go away. And then I'm going to shrink my dot size just a little bit. I'm going to put all three points here. So a straight angle, again, is going to be flat. It would be a 180 degree angle. And so we would have W as our starting. We would have X as the middle point, And we would have Z as the end point. And... Um, it could also be a ray um, or a complete line where it keeps going in other directions, but I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. Um, so let's go down to number 11. So we have a shape here, and we want to figure out what our um, different parts of this are. So if I wanted to name an obtuse angle, then I would do the angle of A, B, K. I could also do R, B, J, or J, B, R for that one. And I think those might be the only two. Um, acute angles, so that would be smaller, so I could do ABJ, I could do um, KBR, because that would be smaller, and then my uh, right angles, in theory, should be this one here, this one here, this one here, assuming everything else is even. And then my straight angle would be uh, these right here. So ABR or BRC or PRQ or potentially JBK. And then line segments, again, they want something that has a definite start and end point. Um, so the one that would match that most accurately because we're not going to continue past would be BR. So uh, those are the parts I wanted to work on with you for this morning. Um, if you have any questions, again, this video is a little bit longer, so hopefully you're working along with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments. I will be spending a lot of time um, going over the homework part, um, but I will record that video on Monday uh, morning or Monday afternoon, um, so there's time for your questions to come in. So make sure you watch this. If you need to go back and take a look at things, um, you can do that. Also, I would recommend uh, you take a look at the online Go Math lesson for this one if you need a little bit of extra help understanding what's going on. So hope this all makes sense for you, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.